In this question, we've got a function f, and it's a linear function, and the domain is x can be any number. And we've got a function, also g, and it's 2 over x add 3, and x can be any number, but x can't be negative 3, obviously, because otherwise the denominator would be 0 and the function will be undefined. For, one, or for two marks, evaluate f of g of 1. So we want to work at f of g of 1. To start with, obviously start off by working out g evaluated at 1. So that would be 2 divided by 1 add 3, which is 2 divided by 4, which is equal to a half. And then we want to work out f of g of 1. So f of g of 1 would therefore be f of a half. So we need to substitute a half into this function. So it would be 3 multiplied by a half, take away 4, which is 3 over 2, take away 4. So 3 over 2, take away 4, and 4 is 8 over 2. So that's going to be negative 5 over 2, so negative 5 over 2. So f of g of 1 is negative 5 over 2, or negative 2.5 if you want to decimalise it. So for part b, we're asked to solve f of g of x is 6. So what we're going to do is we're going to take f of x, this here, and we're going to substitute it in where we see x in the function g of x. So, f, so g of f of x, so we're going to put f of x into g. So we're going to have 2 over x add 3, but instead of x, we're not going to have x there, we're going to have 3x take away 4, so 3x take away 4, like that. And so that's 2 divided by, and uh, we've got negative 4 add 3, which is negative 1, so 3x subtract 1, and that's our g of fx, and we're making this equal 6, so we're solving the equation 2 over 3x subtract 1 is 6, multiply both sides by 3x subtract 1, 2 is equal to 6, 3x subtract 1, multiply out the bracket, 2 is equal to 18x subtract 6, add 6 to both sides, and finally divide by 18, so x would therefore be 8 divided by 18, which you should obviously simplify, you can divide top and bottom by 2, so it would be 4 over 9, and you're done.